Chapter 6, Workflow Boosters. Welcome to the final chapter in this mini webinar series about Monday projects. In this chapter, we're going to look at three additional tips for boosting your workflow for project management, which are not specifically built into the templates and Monday projects. These are collaborating with external stakeholders on your project boards, creating project summaries, and more using Monday Work Docs, and managing your projects across platforms. Let's dive right into the first tip, collaborating with external stakeholders on your project boards. If you are working with external stakeholders involved in the project who are not part of your company, such as clients, freelancers, vendors, etc., you can collaborate with them on the board by adding them as guests. To add guests, you need to change the board type to be a shareable board. So I'll show you how to do that. You go to the three dot menu at the top right of your board. You go to board settings and you change board type to shareable. To start collaborating with your team or with guests on a shareable board, you need to invite them. Your team won't see the board unless they are invited. To invite guests, you go up to invite right here at the top of your board, and you can enter the name or email. If it's a new guest, you're gonna put in their email to invite them right here under the board guests section. Guests only have access to the boards they are invited to, so you can be sure that they won't see other information inside your account. If you are on the pro or enterprise plan, you'll get unlimited guests, and for more information on how you are billed for guests on a lower plan, we recommend checking out our knowledge base. Great, let's move on to another great way to collaborate with your team, with Monday Work Docs. There are times where a blank, highly flexible document can be the most useful for managing work processes. Monday Work Docs provides a central place for you and your team to collaborate, brainstorm, plan, and execute all of your ideas. Let's take a look at an example of a Monday Work Doc where we have used Monday Work Docs for creating a project summary for our project alpha. First, I'm gonna show you how to add a Work Doc to your Monday projects. So we're gonna to go to Add up here going to go to new doc, create a name for your doc, hit create doc, and then the work doc will come up in your workspace over here. So let's look at the example doc that we already created on project beta. So you will see that there are different text elements which can be added from here at the top it says plus add. You can add different types of text, titles, bulleted list, numbered list, all of these different great examples to really add different elements to your docs. The amazing thing about working from a work doc is that multiple people can collaborate on it at the same time. However, it doesn't just end there. What sets Monday work docs apart is that you can also bring your documents to life with real-time elements from your account, meaning you can embed monday.com boards and widgets directly into the work docs. Right here, if we scroll down, we've added a battery widget, and this incorporates the statuses from Project Beta right into the work doc. So we can see what tasks are done, still being worked on, or are still in the future, for instance. Every component is automatically synced and updated as you work, so it will always show live data. This is going to make creating project reports a lot easier because if something changes in the data that's being reported on, it will automatically sync to the work doc too. Amazing, right? You can also add files, images, videos, and more to your work doc. As you can see here, when you create a new work doc, you can decide if it will be a main, shareable, or private doc, just like your boards. And this is in order to control who can get access. So if we come to the 
three dot menu at the top right of the work doc. We go down to change doc type. We can change it to shareable. And that way we can invite our team and others to the doc by clicking on share up here. So here we can invite other doc members who are part of our team or doc guests. If you want to follow the same structure for every project summary you create, you can also templatize your work docs. Just click on the three dot menu in the upper right corner of your doc and go here to save as template. And then you'll be able to add new work docs from the template in the template center. There are lots of other great things you can do with work docs. For example, you can show the report as a presentation using present mode. And that's located right up here where it says present mode. You can find previous versions of your work doc. So if you want to revert to an earlier version of it, you can. And that's found in version history, which is found in the three dot menu. And will show all the previous edits that you made to the work doc and let you revert to them if you'd like. Before we wrap up work docs, it's important to note that these can be used for all sorts of things in project management besides creating a project summary, such as monthly project reports, project charters, or for logging meeting minutes. Now onto our final tip, managing your projects across platforms with monday.com integrations and apps. Let's go back to our main project alpha board. You'll find all of our native integrations on your board in the workflow center here. So if we go to integrate on our board, and we'll go to our integration center. Integrations work just like automations where there are triggers and actions, but this time the triggers and actions can work across multiple platforms. This helps you to manage your projects seamlessly as it lets data flow between different tools. Let's look at a few examples of how you might want to make use of our integrations. Probably the most popular integration is with Gmail and Outlook. By integrating your board with these platforms, you can send reminders or other important information about your project via email to stakeholders, including team members or clients. There are a huge range of recipes to choose from. So while in our integration center, if we click on Gmail, we can see all the different things we can do. Whether if, we, if a status changes, we can send an email to someone, if a column changes, if time period is in a certain timeline, you can send an email to someone. There's so much you can do here. When adding an integration, you need to choose the app and then connect your monday.com to the app. So say if we wanted to add this integration to our board, we will then need to connect our Gmail account here by pressing connect. Say if we use Outlook as our email source, we can also connect Outlook and do the same thing, add an integration to the board and connect our Outlook account. If your team communicates internally via Slack, we also suggest checking out our Slack integration. Using this to ensure that changes on your board, updates, and upcoming deadlines are communicated swiftly to the team in the appropriate Slack channels. Come down here in the integration center to Slack, and we can choose whatever integration we'd like that will come up in our channel and connect our Slack account. Some other native integrations which you might want to check out are Jira and Salesforce. If you have some team members managing tasks in Jira and others in Monday.com, you can ensure the task lists are kept consistent across these platforms using this integration. So if we click on the Jira here, we can see different integrations that we can add to the board. Finally, for anyone using Microsoft Teams, check out the monday.com app in Teams. With this amazing functionality, 
you will be able to connect your boards to selected Microsoft Teams channels and view them as tabs. To boost things even more, you can use your bot to receive notifications from your preferred boards and Microsoft Teams and transfer any conversations into action items in monday.com. And you can find Microsoft Teams right here in the Integration Center and then connect your MS Teams account to Monday. That concludes this mini webinar series. We hope you feel more comfortable now to get started with Monday projects. We recommend checking out the Learning Center, which is found right here under your project boards. And this has a lot of great resources to help you as you're learning Monday projects. Have a great one.